DRPC, a way to build entirely type-safe APIs without the need of schemas or code generation. If you are building an API today, there are two main approaches, REST and GraphQL. But there's actually another less talked about approach called TRPC, with features like auto-completion, automatic type safety and request batching. In RESTland, the most basic way to fetch data inside a React application is to use the browser fetch API. When the browser first mounts in a use effect, then manage the response in a use state. This approach does not have a strong contract between the front-end and the back-end. For example, if you decide to change the message property from greeting to text, TypeScript will not throw an error, but in our React application you get a broken UI. This is where TRPC comes in. To get started, create a new project with npm create t3 app. TRPC is set up in routes and procedures, where route is like a folder and a procedure is like a file. If you open up the example router, you will see a hello procedure with an input object where the name is a string and an output object where greeting is a string. To call the procedure in the front end, you have to use a special API object and navigate to the hello procedure by using the example router. Under the hood, TRPC uses a React query to make the request. Note that changes to the back end will throw TypeScript errors in the front end. And additionally, when making multiple requests, TRPC is going to batch all of them into a single HTTP request. There are a couple of instances where you shouldn't use TRPC. For example, when your front-end and back-end code is not written in TypeScript or when you have separate back-end and front-end teams. This has been TRPC in 100 seconds. For more short videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe.